Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll talk about the expensive things that keeps us poor. What I mean by expensive things is our day-to-day -day habits, which we happen to do every single day, that making us like really poor with our expenses or with our uh, money savings. The first thing I would say about is about impulsive spending. So what I mean by impulsive spending is about uh, spending or buying things that you actually don't need. Say for example, you're going to a mall and you are at the checkout corner and uh, that happens to be a part of some gummies or some kind of chocolates or uh, things that you don't need actually. But you happen to buy those things. If you happen to accumulate your purchases over a period of time, in a year you'll be able to see that like you spent quite a huge sum on that as well. Other things I would call about impulsive spending is about uh, buying things that you don't actually need them or just because of the market hype you tend to buy those. For example, I would say like you have a phone which is happening to be working fine and just because a phone is like available in the market or it is coming at a discount or someone is giving it a cheaper price, you tend to buy that instantly. So those I would call it as impulsive spending. So we should avoid those kind of things. That's the first thing which we need to do. Buy things you definitely need in life. Do not buy just for the heck of it. Then the second thing I would talk about is about eating out frequently. So eating out frequently makes a toll on our savings. We normally don't uh, uh, calculate the amount we spend it on uh, restaurants or in hotels. The biggest problem happens with Zomato and Swiggy as well. We try to add up things which we uh, which attracts our attention without even looking at the prices. We try to check out those. And if you happen to see your monthly expenditures on your uh, Swiggy Zomato or in your restaurants, that adds up a huge toll onto your savings as well. The third important thing would be on uh, spending on your entertainment expenses. We all happen to uh, watch up, uh, movies, but now that we don't even like have the time or the uh, privacy to watch up movies and theaters, we tend to go with subscriptions. You try to pay for your Amazon, uh, Netflix or your uh, Z account or your Hotstar. So all of these comes to the subscription, even though we don't watch them, we try spending about a thousand or two thousand rupees every single month on these recharges as well. So uh, try limiting up all of these. That will give you a quite considerable sum over a period of time. Then uh, another important thing I would say is uh, like visiting up uh, fine dine restaurants or uh, coffee shops, really expensive ones. So what I would call here is like uh, expensive coffee shops, like I would say as an example would be a Starbucks. So a coffee that costs you like about 100 bucks would cost almost like 350 bucks at Starbucks. And that too depending on the size of it as well. So frequent visit to these kind of coffee shops definitely takes a toll on your expenses. So try limiting these as well. In fact, brewing a coffee at your own home is like very economical. So you can buy these coffee powders or your coffee machines. That's going to be a one-time investment. And thereafter you can brew your own coffee at home. Then the uh, next thing I would call it is about credit cards. Credit cards are a real menace in your life. You don't even know how much you are spending because it's not the money that you own actually. So it's going to be a borrowed money, I would say. So the borrowed money that you happen to have, it's like without even having the conscience of how much you are spending, you normally spend on credit cards. And if you happen to lose one of the cycles of your payment, you get an exorbitant fee of 37% levied on your amount or the whatever uh, your overdue is. So always avoid using your credit cards. Then uh, we, some people have the habit of having uncontrolled online shopping. So there are people whom I know happen to spend overnight uh, shopping on uh, Amazon or in Flipkart or in whatever places, marketplace it is. So irrespective of the requirement, you just go online, you tend to see the latest hot sellers or the top deals and you just add them to your cart and you check out without even knowing like whether you need the product actually. So stop spending on these as well. The next thing I would call it about uh, ignoring the savings part. We normally don't uh, have the savings normally in our life. We try to spend on all these luxuries of life and we try to uh, forget the savings part of it. So we need to prioritize the money on our emergency funds, on our retirements, on our growth, on all of these channels. So there's another video that I have posted on how to track your money and how to save your money. So I'll leave a link to this. You'll be able to see a pop up coming up here. Do watch that as well. And uh, you need to track up your expenses, like how much is your uh, paycheck and how much is your expenses on that and how much is being spent on each of these services. That would give you a regular tracking of your expenses and budgeting them properly as well. Then the important thing is about like uh, keeping up with others. That's one of the biggest mistakes we all do. Just because the person X is trying to spend this much money or buying up uh, luxury items and like t-shirts and perfumes and things like that. We also try to compete with them or try to like keep up with them. We should never be like trying to match up with others. Each of us have different appetite. So never try to compare yourself with another person. 
or try to like match up with their uh, needs or like with their standards then uh, another thing i would say is about like ignoring up deals and discounts there are a lot of places where you get a lot of discounts and deals uh, we normally try to miss out all of those so all of those are like, really essential ones we should try following up them or catching up with them so you could uh, get up a lot of coupons online try using those coupons and try to get or buy items at discounted prices that will give you a huge saving over a period of year so try all of these 10 points that i've listed down here I'm leaving them in the comments as well and you can just try noting them how much you're saving on all of these. Try over a period of time, say for example six months or one year, you'll be able to see that you have saved quite a considerable amount of money. So these are the 10 um, expensive things or mistakes which we do and which takes a huge toll on our expenses or on our uh, money saving journey. And uh, if you happen to have any of these, do leave that in the comments. I would love to see what you guys come up with and if you guys like such videos. Um, do share it with your friends and uh, do smack the like button as well. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thanks for watching.